What's up guys, it's Mike from Jersey Connect, and today I picked up the 28th, I think it's the 2019 Luka Doncic Dallas Maverick City Edition jersey. The, the one with the whole graffiti on it. As you could probably guess, this jersey is inspired by the street art and the graffiti culture. I ended up buying this Swingman jersey for around 80 bucks at Chic Shoes. I don't know if they have it at other states, but Chic Shoes sells a whole bunch of shoes. They have an online retail website. Bought it for 80 bucks, so instead of retail for 110, why not? Good deal. So in today's video, I'm just gonna unbox the jersey, take a closer look at the finer details, and hopefully help you decide if you wanna purchase one yourself. Because I think they're still selling some of them on the Dallas Mavericks team store. So if you guys find this video helpful or entertaining, an easy way to support the channel is just by hitting like, hit subscribe, and hit that notification bell so when I drop new videos, you don't miss out. Let's go ahead and get into it. And right here we got the first look. Boom! Look at that. You got Mavs across the chest. You got the graffiti style script. Man, that kind of looks sick in person. And you got Luka Doncic, of course. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at it. And right here we got the back of the jersey. Starting off at the collar, you have that ribbon material with a neon green colorway. And the arm openings, you got the same style. And on these older models, they have the retail tags on the arm openings. So you got dry fit, you got the retail tag, and then on the opposite side, you have the NBA Authentic and the Standard Fit. So those are in the arm openings on the older models. And then when we go right here, the Swingman jersey, it's gonna be a heat pressed logo. And when we go to Doncic, the lettering, you can see a crease here. They packed it way too tight and uh, it's creased. But you got Doncic, all heat pressed, a white letter base. And on the numberings, you got 77. So you got a white base, one whole piece is all white, but they kind of like print that color into the lettering, or numbering I mean. But it is like that highlighter green, all heat pressed. And when we actually take a look at the jersey base, you can see there's a gradient change. You got like the dark navy blue that the Mavericks usually wear, and it goes way lighter as soon as you go all the way up. So. Light blue, kind of gets a little darker, and then it goes down to that navy blue. And when we look at these side panels, you can see this is a separate polyester piece that are stitched down to the jersey. And you can see right here, there's, oh, there's two of them. They create a little design. Wow, that's sick. And then they got it on the other side, I believe, as well. So a separate polyester piece, all stitched down on the side. One of them goes all the way down. That's pretty cool. Let's check out the front. And right here we got the front of the jersey. When we go to the collar on the front side, got the same style collar, and it's the same colorway. I remember when Luca was wearing his jersey that year, um, he was ripping through these real easy. So going forward, I think the next year after, they started putting like a reinforced stitching, kind of like a T, just so it doesn't rip down the middle so easily. So one thing that they did switch is adding that reinforced stitching on the collar so stuff wouldn't rip too easy. And then right over here, we got the Nike swoosh, nice and heat pressed. And then the neck label, dry fit, 44 medium made in Honduras. You got the lettering and numbering. So one whole heat press piece, but man, the graffiti style looks sick on this. Got the green trim, and then you got that kind of like um, layers where it looks like it gives you a 3D look. The numbering, you got the same style as well as the back. And when we go down to the jock tag, Swingman 44. These jerseys had Nike Connect before. So they had that little app, see with that microchip back there. And right here you got the Dallas skyline, little city line, and they print that onto the jersey. Then you got that Nike Connect tag. Yeah, eh, they don't even use it. And that side panel actually kind of like creates a, goes to the back and then it comes back to the front. Dude, the design is sick. And they got it on that side as well. And that right there is the front. And this is what it looks like when you wear the jersey. So I'm 5'6", 175 pounds. This is a size medium. I chose my shirt size. Works out perfectly. 
and this is the front side. Look at that. That gradient change, sick. And then you can see that side panel goes back here, then it goes back forward. Opposite side, you have the same thing. Then you got the back of the jersey here. And that's pretty much a jersey. Honestly, when I seen these jerseys on TV, I wasn't into it at all. I thought it was a little too loud for me, too much colors going on. But when I seen this in person, and this is only a Swingman version, it actually looks dope. Or maybe it's just grown on me. Like I said before, I love the gradient pattern, going light to dark or dark to light, however you see it. But the side panel design is different than most jerseys. Usually, you know, you get it straight down, you have a little design. And then also, who doesn't like street art? If you don't, let me know. All right, what do you guys think about the jersey? Let me know in the comments below. And like I said, if you want to check out the Dallas Team Store, I think they may still have some. I don't know if they have the Luca version, though, at the time of recording. I know I've seen the Porzingis one, so if you like Porzingis, go get you one. And thank you guys for watching again. On to the next video.